15 and 6 tenths seconds remaining in the fourth. Silence here at Air Canada Center. I'm nervous for Chris <laughs> right now. It's too quiet. And he missed the second, rebounded by Kidd. That's down by two. The ball in the hands of Carter, played by Dixon. Kidd able to save that pass. There's Carter going for the... No, just the... Oh, what a three for the win! The Raptors extend the save. Well, goes John Lockbar. You recall, those of you who have followed this series had an opportunity to hit a big three down the stretch back in game two and did not, although he hit four previous, could have won the game right here, but he's been off the mark from three-point land, and uh, Boston usually an excellent three-point shooter. Well, 0 for 6 coming into this shot, so that's uh, hard enough to make a, a shot from the three-point line when you've been missing all night, but with the game on the line, you can see just didn't have the confidence, and Vince Carter never got what he wanted. Down two, he, he really wanted to attack, maybe get to the line, maybe get a three-point play, but good defense by Toronto, staying in front of him, and they forced the look from Knockbar. Jose Calderon with a playoff career high, a overall career high, 24, uh, 25 points and eight assists. And Vince Carter, a solid game back here in Toronto with 30. Richard Jefferson had 23. Again, the final score, the Raptors 98, the Nets 96. The confetti falls here at the arena in Toronto for Stephanie Reddy, Steve Kerr, and our entire crew. I'm Marv Albert. The series heads back to New Jersey for a game six on Friday. We now take you to Dallas where Dick Stockton and Reggie Miller are set to bring you game five of the Warriors and the Mavericks.